Hello. New day, new location. The thoughts come in my mind. Today is a good day. And um, just be present with um, what you feel about that statement. Today is a good day for some. that resonates with them that is um, what they're feeling and that is uh, maybe excitement or joy and then for others it can be really hard to feel like today's a good day um because of what happened yesterday, because what's coming up, because of how you feel right now, you may not feel like today is a good day, or any day is a good day. You know, there's a part of me that, um, determines a good day would feel like this or a good day would be I don't have something I'm uh, anxious about or worried about coming up But how does God see today? How does the God in you really see today? Is God um, rushing today into tomorrow, wishing today would be over? Or... Is God bored? Sometimes you feel too bored to uh, say that today's a good day. But this is the only day that, um, that exists. The only day that is... Um, livable and the only day that has access to to God I guess that brings up the the scripture today is the day of salvation You know, God doesn't love you anymore tomorrow or yesterday or any day than right now. Because God is love and God um, can only be what he is.
God is um, excited for whatever is today. Whether it is something um, exciting or something that leads to something Yeah, there is a um, there's a video that I was watching, um, and uh, it had a quote. I'm looking it up. It had a question, and this is God asking you: Is your process of development as delightful for you as it is for Him? My immediate answer would be no. And probably for everyone, it's no. Because you're not as delightful as he is. Um, but he's taking you there. And just thinking on that question, it's um, part of the process of development with God is cultivating a delight for the development. And I feel like that's very, like, cliche to say when people are just like, learn to enjoy the journey. Or the process. And uh, at least for me, that's been very hard. When um, when you don't really trust the, um, the processor, the sculptor. Because um, at the end of the day, it's about relationship with God. It's about relationship um, daily. Today is good because you're in relation with God. And um, you know, you're in relation with all things which all things are God and um, are made through Him. And whatever you're going through or feeling today in this moment is for deeper relation, more fulfilling relationship with God. And um, yeah, God is not just excitement. He is showing you the, the richness of his love and himself for you in whatever that you're feeling today and whatever you're experiencing. And it can be so easy to really resent your struggles of whatever you're going through where whether it's your job is exhausting you or you don't have a job or political stuff stresses you out and relationship and feeling triggered and feeling guilty and a whole host of uh, difficult um, you know 
difficult negative emotions. Um, for it's what you feel about circumstances that we care about. It's how, you know, political talks with this person or or difficulties with relationship or just tough, scary, tragic things that happen. Um, it's about how those things make you feel. And being, you know, afraid to feel certain things. Um, and God's trying to meet you where you're at and how you feel about whatever circumstances are here and finding. Finding delight and excitement for what God is going to do with wherever you're at today. And, um, yeah, to read the question again, is your process of development as delightful for you as it is for Him? And I think that question just, um, it gives a... Um, a possibility that um, it can be a delight for you too. For the same spirit that was in Christ Jesus is in you. And, um, you know, the Holy Spirit is God in you. So you have access to the same delight for whatever step, even if that step is anger about the step, frustration about the step that you're on, resentment and um, or sadness or, you know, any negative feeling or thought or judgment towards um, the step that you're on. That can, that's very um, easy for me to feel resentment for the step that I'm on for, sometimes it feels like it's my fault. Sometimes it feels like I've lost something by being on this step that I have um, blah 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 and blah 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 I guess I got a little tired of um, going on with that thought I think you get the, the gist. I um, I am looking for more delight and more excitement in God and in my everyday. When I wake up, being excited for um, that who I am, being excited for who I am in uh, in Christ, and you know what kind of God that I have is um, where I'm trying to move towards not in my circumstances of things that 
excitement because uh, those are so fickle and temporary and um, may or not happen. And uh, when your excitement is in certain outcomes, um, you become dependent on those outcomes because um, you can feel... Uh, I feel <laughs> triggered, angry, upset um, if what I thought, you know, I wanted isn't going to match up with what God has for me and what he wants for me. And uh, that's the process of building trust with God. And um, yeah, it really helps to build trust with God by digging into more of who God is and God's love for you and who you are and seeing better your identity as Christ because as he is so are you in this world and um, you have full access to the Father and um, yeah I'm probably not very uh, far along in that process but that is uh, that at least for right now today is um you know clear on what I want and I think what God wants for me so that I have so that my process of development is as delightful for me as it is for him so God is loving me He's loving you today. And he loves this process. Because he loves everything he does. God loves everything that he does. Do you love everything that he does? in the video on that question. All right.